So today I'm chatting with Barbara Nazarevich, who took my workshop last spring. Um, and Barbara's done incredible things. She got out of the workshop just ready to hit the ground running, and she's actually had a couple of exciting milestones happen to her in the last year. And so I wanted to talk to her a little bit about how she was able to achieve those milestones, what it was that she took out of the workshop that allowed her to take those strides, and then finally get some advice from her that can help women who are dealing with similar, in similar places that she is, um, and she has been for how to move forward. So, okay, so Barbara, tell us about your exciting news. Uh, so I just very recently uh, got a new job uh, that I'm very excited about, and on top of everything else, I was able to negotiate a 40% pay increase from what I was paid in my previous position. Yeah, okay, so tell us a little bit about, about your process of, of getting that job. Um, so from like just a very, I guess, um, practical point of view, you know, a friend of mine told me about the position, and uh, it turned out that it was just in the time of my life that I just was traveling, and I was, didn't just really have much time in town, so everything was happening very quickly. But also it was a position that I knew would require for me to prepare really well for it and to just sort of, uh, I couldn't just like wing it. I really had to like, I had one shot at this and I had to really prepare. And so in a way I feel like because I went through the workshop, I was able to over time sort of like through the workshop, uh, work out a process to kind of like figure out, okay, how am I going to approach this problem? And so, I gathered all my resources that I had, uh, including you know talking to you and some other friends whose opinion I value, to kind of put my best foot forward and just attack this in a way from every angle possible. Obviously, you know, not aggressively in the sense of you know physical violence, but just uh, just sort of give it the best shot I could with all the resources I had. Yeah, and so. Um, in what way was this job a step forward for you that maybe was different than just any, any random job you could have gone into? Uh, so um, the previous company that I worked for was a relatively small firm and there wasn't really much of a growth potential for me. And also I was um, constantly being limited by how much my boss was willing to pay me. Uh, and I don't think it had much to do with my skill set or my work performance. I think it was just the limitation of the firm size. Uh, and so this position with, with the new company was not only, it's a much larger firm, so the growth potential is really, sky's the limit in the way, at least the way I see it now. Uh, and secondly, they have much more of, of ability to pay me fairly for my skill set. and and adequately to what I am contributing to the company. Yeah, so how, how were you able to figure out that that was the case? I mean, what, how did you vet that opportunity for yourself? So, um, before this, this opportunity came up, I started thinking about like, okay, I think it's the time for me to change jobs. I, I, I wasn't, luckily I was in the, in the rush. I didn't feel like I have to change job immediately, that I didn't get laid off or anything, so I really, started a few months ago, I started kind of talking with people and just looking around, asking questions, what they liked about their firms, what they didn't like, and just sort of thinking through myself, what is good for me? And I think that, that was, I think, like the first step in my process that I learned from the workshop is to figure out what you want. Because, you know, what's good for someone else might not be good for you. So you have to sort of think about like, what makes you happy, like what you really want. and. And also understand that like what you pick for yourself, um, you don't have to feel inferior for others if it's not like, you, not everyone has to be desire to be a CEO. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to have a stable job that uh, gives you a lot of time flexibility, and if that's what most important to you, that's what you should go for, right? Yeah. Like, and if you really want to be a CEO, well then it means that you will have to work 90 hours a week, right? But you have to understand like, you cannot have it all in a way, you know. So you have to decide what you want and kind of go for it. And right. I think that was that was like part of my like beginning of the process, like figuring out what I want from this new job, and then just going around and talking with people informally about this and like 
hey, you're working for X company. Like, how do you like the you know work environment? Mm -hmm. And so I was able to sort of, in the ways, ease into it and start thinking like what I want to do. And I was very grateful, like I said, that for the fact that it, I was not in a rush to find a job. But when the opportunity came up, it was very quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you told me a little bit about how you used the community that you developed in the workshop. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so, um, you know, for one, talking about money tends to be a little bit of a taboo subject, but I felt like because I went through the workshop and, and it was several weeks and we established certain rapport and at the first meeting we kind of discussed, like, this is all confidential, what we're talking about here, and it's a safe place, like, you know, no one judges you, just like, Talk about you know everything you want, and so I, at the end of the workshop, I felt like I gained this old girls club where you can ask difficult questions, and all these women are so fantastic. Like they have knowledge from all different disciplines, and some of them were younger, some of them were older. So you ask this difficult question, and you get like all these different answers, right? And and you can analyze it and discuss it with them, and they're so like fantastic to, to, to share their knowledge with you, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was thinking, okay, well, what should I be paid in this new position? Like, you know, you go on like salary.com or something, like you can only take it so seriously, right? Because you never know who is really the source of these numbers. Yeah. So I felt so grateful that I had this group of women that I could email and say, okay, these are my questions. What do you think about this, this and this? And what do you think I should be paid? Yeah. And they were able to like, from, from like the actual field that, that you're in, yeah. you spawned from the data that's, I don't think you can get more reliable data than that. Yeah. And knowing that they will answer honestly and they're not gonna try to lie to you or tell you like that they make more than they really do or yeah. like whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of stuff. Okay, so this... So, so that was yeah. one of the resources, mm -hmm. right? Like just yeah. having that group of women that you can reach out to. Mm -hmm. But... I guess the most important thing from like my personal point of view and like my in internal point of view is just like developing the process of attacking a problem, like mm -hmm. finding the resources, like okay, what my resources are, and reaching out to them, uh, and asking questions, and just not being scared the person who asks questions, not thinking that it's going to just fall on you, mm -hmm. that you have to go out there and ask it, yeah. and and just you know not and don't apologize for asking the questions, just ask them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think that's kind of like the two main things that I can think of right now. Right? Yeah. That um, that came to me like just and it just I think in in, in overall the the workshop <clears throat> solidified uh, in me and just sort of the the confidence that everything is fine with me. You know, like the fact that I might not know things or like I'm not sure of things, just like giving me that confidence. It's like it's all normal. You know, mm -hmm. going crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that's great. great. Um, so tell us um, really briefly about your. Uh, you had another kind of lean in this moment this year because you are now um, one of the leaders of the women in design group here in Boston in, in, at the Boston Society of Architects, right? Yeah. So I, I have been involved with the things. <laughs> rolling away <laughs> yeah. here, getting yeah. comfortable. Yeah, 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 exactly. Taking up space. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been involved with the women in design at the BSA for um, two or three years, and I've, I've been always uh, part of the communications committee. So I was always involved with every sort of group within WID. So I always kind of knew what's going on everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, but never really felt like it, and kind of had some aspirations to be in the leadership of the group, but I wasn't sure for one what the process was, like how do you become the co-chair, yeah. and didn't have the guts to ask, yeah. uh, because I felt like I'm gonna step on someone's toes, or like I'm trying to, you know, mm -hmm. elbow my way to the top over someone else. Uh, and secondly, I just, I don't know, I, I guess I just didn't have the confidence overall. And so, and, but inside of me there was like, before even the workshop, I had this kind of need, like it needs to be like something going, like we need to do something for women, in Boston, like women in design in Boston, that kind of revolves around negotiation or just sort of empowerment, like just something there was brewing. And I wasn't quite sure how to do it. I didn't feel like I had the, I don't know, the power or just like ability to organize within WID. And, and it wasn't quite, I wasn't able to quite sell it there. Uh, and so then we had the workshop 
And I was like, no, you, I just have to like step into it and just like wrap it up, package it up, put it out there and tell people this is what we're going to do. And, you know, part of it was meeting you and meeting someone who is, who I felt like uh, knew much more about just empowerment and negotiation than I did. So I always felt like, okay, even if Maya can help me with this, I think she can at least connect me with people mm -hmm. that would be able to do it. Because I didn't feel like myself being enough of a expert to go out there and talk to 100 people and tell them, okay, this is how you do it, right? Like, yeah. uh, <clears throat> so in any case, thanks to the workshop, you know, I basically, when the time came, when uh, I, I walked up to one of the coaches and I said, well, I don't know how you guys do it and I don't know what the process is, but when you guys are looking for a coacher for the next year, let me know. I, I, I'm kind of interested, but let me know how, what, what the process is, what would it take, what the responsibilities are, yeah. and I, I'm, at this point I'm interested. And, and my thought was that if they tell me like, uh, you know, oh, that it ends up being so much time commitment or something that I'm not willing to do, I said like, well, thanks for letting me know, but I'm no longer interested. Yeah. But at least I opened that door and I asked the questions. Mm -hmm. And sure, and, and they said, okay, fine. And sure enough, you know, sometime later they say, hey, Barbara, we would love you to be the coach here. Are you still interested? This is what it's going to take. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, yes, <laughs> that's great. I'm super excited. And uh, <clears throat> at that point, we also talked more seriously about uh, the negotiation series for women in design. So we created, you know, with collaboration with you, we created this three, uh, three part series on negotiation. And normally, WID tends to attract for each event about 20, 30 people. Mm -hmm. and it seems that this subject is such a hot topic right now that we, within days, sell out 80, like full house, 80 people, and we have 20 people on the waiting list. So, yeah. so clearly this is something that women want to hear about, want to learn more about, and, um, and we wish we had bigger rooms. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm really excited about it, and obviously it takes, it takes work of many people at, mm -hmm. at, uh, at Women in Design and, and uh, you know, uh, Ellen being and, and Heather being, you know, another person who just like really put so much work into it. Yeah. Um, but that's something that happened because I feel like uh, the, the, the workshop gave me the tools to not be scared to walk up to people and say, hey, I'm interested in this. How does this work? Mm -hmm. And then they start interacting with you and like, you know, one thing leads to another and you have the ability to to make it actually happen and bring it to reality. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's really great. And, you know, I think it's really nice for me to see women who are putting something out there into the world very proactively that resonates and doesn't just push them forward, but actually makes more space, you know, makes more room at the top, makes more room for more empowered women. And so that's been something that's been really exciting for me to see Barbara go through and, and to, you know, be part of catalyzing. Um, so, okay, so one last question. So you obviously hit the ground running. You know, Barbara was telling me a year ago that she felt like she got a lot out of the workshop, and but you know, a year later we're seeing all these changes in your life. Um, what, what would you advise women who are engaging in the workshop or in some other empowerment process? Um, what would you advise them to do to get the most out of it? Yeah, so one of the things that I really liked about the workshop was, was that it was over the course of several weeks. So it wasn't like, okay, you showed up for one really intense workshop, but you actually had little bits of it um, every week. And it's kind of like with forming good habits, right? Like you have to do it several times before it sticks. It's not like you're gonna you know, go for a run once and you're gonna like end up running a marathon. Like you have to train over the course of several months. And so that's kind of like, how I felt with this was that, you know, I read before all these sort of motivational books, including Lean In and all that, you know, but, but going to the workshop and actually really doing it and, and doing the homework, I think the homeworks were really great, where you really had to practice it and like there were some parts where we had to, you know, record ourselves or, you know, just really think it through, take the time to think it through. And just being, it, it really felt like over the course of these several weeks, you're just constantly in like this cloud of thinking about it because you have the homework you have to think it through it just helps you with the habit of positive thinking in some way mm -hmm. and also because you have these women there in the room that are going through the same with you you feel like you have this really support group so by the end you know you have you have this cohort that hopefully you can stick with and mm -hmm. and just sort of move on like 
Luckily, you know, Boston is big enough and small enough that we have, we are close enough that we can meet up once in a while in person and just maintain these relationships. Yeah, so. Yeah, and we're also, um, one of the things we're doing is thinking about the role of the virtual community. So right. facilitating not just our cohorts to stay together, but individuals to keep working together right. or, um, you know, to have that group of people who you can ask for advice or to share a milestone with. So which you've been really active in doing with your class. So that's been really yeah. nice to see. And, and you know, I, and I'm always happy to see when other people in our group sort of ask questions or, or share whatever. They found an interesting article somewhere, you know? And so I love to see that, you know, that, that I, I'm, I, you know, there's like so many other people looking out for us, right? Yeah. Like they're, like something that I probably wouldn't have seen or read. Now it's like right there. So, yeah, and it's already pre vetted <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. So, Great, well, um, it's been really nice for me to get to share Barbara's story. Absolutely, it's really, my pleasure. Yeah, inspiring, and thanks so much for your time and your advice. No problem, I, I really enjoyed the workshop and I really wish everyone can participate in it. Uh, I think uh, you're contributing really well to 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 general population of women, you know, like, to their well-being in Boston and specifically to women in design. So thanks so much for sharing your knowledge with Thank us. Thank you. Yeah.